Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about histology of testes. You know that the testes are the male gonad and they are present in pairs. Each testis is an oval shaped organ and it is present just below the abdomen. So this is a diagram showing the illness of testis. As you can see in this diagram, the testis is covered by double layered sac called as tunica vaginalis. This layer is nothing but the extended part of a visceral layer of peritoneum. Just below this tunica vaginalis, a layer of fibrous capsule is present and it is called as tunica albuginea. So below this tunica albuginea layer, a layer of connective tissue is present and it is called as tunica vasculosa. This tunica albuginea layer is called as a capsule of testis and at the posterior end, this tunica albuginea layer get thickens to form a region called as mediastinum testis. Okay, so through this mediastinum testis, the blood vessels, lymphatic vessels and the ducts of the gonads enter and exit the testis. If you consider interior of the testis, it is subdivided into many number of pyramidal lobules and each lobules are formed by connective tissue septa. There are of about 200 to 300 lobules in each testis and each lobule consists of highly coiled tubules called as seminiferous tubules. So it is inside this seminiferous tubules spermatogenesis or production of sperm takes place. So the each lobule consists of about 1 to 4 seminiferous tubules. And the length of each seminiferous tubule is of about 30 to 70 centimeters. So you can imagine how much it is coiled inside the lobules. At the apex of the testis, these highly coiled seminiferous tubules joins to form a straight tubules. These straight tubules now enter mediastinum testis. In this region, it forms rete testis. Rete testis is nothing but the irregular networks of channel. These rete testes now it gives rise to 8 to 15 tubules called as efferent ductules. These efferent ductules now it gives rise to epididymis. This epididymis region consists of three regions that is head of the epididymis, body of the epididymis and tail of the epididymis. These are the different parts of the testes. So the sperm which is produced inside the seminiferous tubule, it enters straight tubules, then it enters rete testes. From the rete testis it enters efferent ductule, from the efferent ductule it enters head of the epididymis, body of the epididymis and tail of the epididymis where the sperm matures and it is stored. As I told the spermatogenesis takes place inside the seminiferous tubule. So if you take a transverse section of seminiferous tubule it looks like this. So we will see different parts of the seminiferous tubule. Each seminiferous tubule consists of outermost capsule called as a tunica propria. This tunica propria made up of a connective tissue with different kinds of cell. The two main cell which is present here is myoid cell and the cells of Leydig. Myoid cell is a smooth muscle cells which are contractile in nature and because of this contractile nature the sperm will move inside this seminiferous tubule. And one more cell is cells of Leydig. It has an endocrine function which secretes a male sex hormone that is testosterone. Below this outermost layer that is tunica propria, a layer of basement membrane is present. And below this basement membrane, germinal epithelium or complex stratified epithelium is present. And this germinal epithelium consists of mainly two types of cell. That is cells of Sertoli and spermatogenic cell. These cells of Sertoli is also called as supporting cell or sustenticular cell. And it extends from basement membrane to the lumen of the seminiferous tubule. As you can see, these cells of Sertoli are long columnar cells and they are irregularly shaped. It consists of a single oval nucleus which is eccentrically positioned. As the name indicates, this supporting cell will support the developing germ cell and it provides the nutrition for that. Apart from that, it also produces certain fluid which helps in the movement of sperm inside the seminiferous tubule. And it also acts as a blood testis barrier. 
which prevents a rejection of these spermatogenic cells by the immune system. One more type of cell which is present in the germinal epithelium is spermatogenic cell. So when it is compared to cells of Sertoli, spermatogenic cells are numerous in number. And it is this spermatogenic cells which undergo regular mitotic division and it differentiate and ultimately it produces sperm. And the process is called as spermatogenesis. So this includes different kinds of cell that is spermatogonium, primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte, spermatid and spermatozoa. All these cells are present between the basement membrane and the lumen of the seminiferous tubule and it forms of about 4 to 8 layers of cell. The outermost layer which is present just below the germinal epithelium are the spermatogonia. The spermatogonia are the stem cells. Mainly there are two types of spermatogonia, type A spermatogonia and type B spermatogonia. Type A spermatogonia undergo mitotic division and it produces again spermatogonia. On the other hand, type B spermatogonia produces primary spermatocyte. And these primary spermatocytes are present just below the spermatogonium. The primary spermatocyte is large cell with a large nuclei. And this primary spermatocyte undergo first meiotic division and it produces secondary spermatocyte. So since it undergo first meiotic division, it is a reductional division and the number of chromosomes is reduced. So when it is compared to primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocytes are smaller in size and it is present just below the primary spermatocyte. These secondary spermatocytes undergo second meiotic division and it produces spermatids. So these spermatids are present just below the secondary spermatocytes and it present near the lumen. Later, these spermatid undergo process called as spermiogenesis to produce spermatozoa. And these spermatozoa is present near the lumen of the seminiferous tubule. These spermatozoa mainly consists of two parts, head and the tail. So head part of the spermatozoa is found attached to the cytoplasmic process of the Sertoli cell. And the tail part is extending into the lumen of the seminiferous tubule. So ultimately these sperms are produced into the lumen of the seminiferous tubule. So from the lumen it enters into the tail part of the epididymis. So that is how different cells are arranged from the basement membrane to the lumen of the seminiferous tubule. So that is all about the histology of testes. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.